Let's talk about uploading data to Mapbox to use in your Mapbox Studio style. Um, there is a lot of data available to you in Mapbox Studio um, by default, but sometimes you need extra data or specific data that is not included or a specific version of that data. Um, and you have the option to do that with Mapbox. Um, again, I'll log in, I'll go to Studio. And the way I would recommend doing this for um, data sets that you're just uploading and putting on your own style is to go to Tile Sets and make a new tile set. And when you make a new tile set, it's going to ask for um, a shape file that's zipped up, GeoJSON, CSV file. Um, you can also upload raster tiles, such as a GeoTIFF, if you georeferenced an image or or got a GeoTIFF some other way. You can you can upload those here. Um, I'm just going to upload a shape file of disputed areas according to natural earth data, and I have that here on my computer. And I'm going to zip it up. I'm going to select all of the files that are part of the shapefile and make a zip file for it and drag it over here and hit confirm. And um, you'll usually see that it uploads pretty quickly. And then sometimes the processing might take a few minutes. So you'll want to keep up an eye on the processing. I um, I uploaded this data pretty recently, so I will go straight to that. Um, but the idea is once you have a tile set, you can search for it here and see there is my disputed areas. Oh, looks like the other one finished. Great. Um, so I will just use that new one there. And um, in order to use it, I'm going to create a new style. And this style, it's going to be a global style because I want to be able to see these disputed areas. I might do monochrome. Um, I might do like a light monochrome and then I will overlay my disputed areas on top of that. So I'm going to customize the light monochrome and uh, all I'm really going to do now is show you how to add that layer and do a little bit of styling on it. And let's take a moment to create the new uh, style. But, well, that's, um, let's try again. Great. So, can see this is a very gray style. Uh, it might lend itself well to adding some disputed areas. One that I um, is always easy to find because it's here in the northwest corner of Africa is um, between Morocco and um, in Western Sahara, Mauritania, right around here. And you can see that dashed line here. Um, another is um, Around Kashmir, uh, you will see these pretty subtle dashed lines here. Uh, those are how Mapbox indicates disputed areas. Um, but let's say I have a special file of disputed areas, or I just want to um, be able to emphasize them in my own way. So I'm, I've, I just uploaded that tile set. I'm going to add it as one of my layers. So over here on the left, switching over to layers, and I'm clicking the plus sign. And depending on the number of layers you have in your account, it can be hard to search through here and find exactly the one that you need. I just found the ones that I uploaded. If you needed to, look for disputed areas and I'm going to click on the most recent one. And you can see, hey, those features are showing up in the places where I expected. That's great. And um, now I have some decisions to make. Do I want to fill 
these disputed areas like this. Uh, probably not precisely like this. I might need to tone this down a whole lot. Um, that's an option for sure. I could get rid of the stroke also or tone down the stroke a bit. Often disputed areas though, often we're looking at the outlines of those. Um, so maybe a fill doesn't make as much sense here. Maybe I want an outline. And you can, um, it's a little counterintuitive at first, you don't change that here in the style, you change it in the select data. So you change in, under select data, you change the type from fill to line. And this is going to be an outline of the polygon rather than a filled polygon. And when I go back to style, I have more options that are specific to lines. In particular, I can I can add a dash array, um, which is going to make some dash lines for me. I might need a bit more separation between these. Um, so there we go. Now we have um, an outline with some dashes. I don't think I realized that this one in particular comes down this peninsula. Um, and and I might want to change the colors. I might, eh, you often see a red toned layer for these borders. And depending on what you're doing, that might be perfect. That might be all you need to do. Um, you might need to make some edits to your disputed areas now that you see them on a map. Um, you might also need to play around with that dashed area, that dashed array, sorry. Um, I think it gets pretty hard to see when you're zoomed out at, say, this scale. That might be worth playing around with. Um, for example, I could say style across zoom range here. And I could say uh, at zoom zero, maybe um, maybe I want it to be less dashed or have more dashes, uh, have them tighter together. And up to zoom 22, that's when they start spreading out more. So you can see this one in particular is a little bit easier to see. And as I zoom in, um, they start to get a little bit further apart. Um, except, uh, oh, okay, I didn't realize that. So what's happening here is you can uh, specify the zoom at which the transition happens. So maybe at zoom 12 is where I want it to go from two and two to six and six for my dash array. And now when I zoom in, you can see they change pretty significantly. Okay, so that is the process for adding your own data to a Mapbox Studio base map style.